Hi everybody, it's me, Mrs. J. I just want to talk to you for just a couple of minutes about the Poetics app. I just want to remind you right up here, you need to be an iPhone only to find this one. And I can tell you, I grabbed it when it was free, and I hope a lot of you did too. It's back to $199, but might be a good investment, especially for a one iPad classroom or a shared iPad classroom. Um, I like this a lot because I was a big fan of magnet poetry back when that was cool, like in the 90s. I've had it on my whiteboards in my room the whole time I've been a teacher like the actual magnets, but now that we all have iPads, I'd like for my kids to be able to make magnet poetry on their iPad, and we have experimented with an app called Word Mover in my classroom, but I've been really pleased with this one called Poetics, and this is the one that I'm gonna recommend from now on. This is what it looks like in the App Store, and then when I open it on my iPad, it looks like this. Now I'm gonna have to make my iPad go up and down this way so it's not gonna look quite as good on the screen here in this quick tutorial, but hopefully you get the point here. Um, here's what I think is cool about Poetics is that you can add your own background art and then add magnets on top of that. So what you can see here is that I added my daughter's own drawing here and then added related words as magnets. So that might be a fun exercise for kids is that they could create something either on paper like she did here or in another app, and you can app smash it right into um, Poetics and add related words. I was using a fridge and magnets on a fridge just to remind myself of things that I wanted to teach in a um, recent workshop. So I was using it just kind of almost as a to-do list and I was moving magnets out of the way. Here's another cool way though, this is maybe what I think is the best use of this app. Um, I made something that you can see says nouns, verbs, adjectives at the top, and I made that in pic collage. And then I smashed that image into Poetics, and now I've actually designed, not just something for magnet poetry, but I've actually designed a hands-on activity for little students, okay? So they actually could do something like this on a teacher's iPad or on their own iPad um, and sort things. So it wouldn't just have to be parts of speech, but I'm an English teacher, so that's what I immediately thought of. But sorting items based on the words you create in the magnets, um, if a student did this and then I needed to clear it for the next kid, I just pull those back down and then somebody else could play. So I think that's a really cool use of the Poetics app. $1.99, probably worth it, or try to catch it when it's free. Hope you learned something new. Thanks. Bye.